The mask of Gorgon was stolen from Algeria during the Civil War. The Roman-era sculpture depicts the Greek mythical creature Medusa. Three years after it was recovered here in Tunisia, the Algerian Minister of Culture is taking it home. We are celebrating reaching a happy solution for what we call the case of the Mask of Gorgon. This cultural property which was stolen from the site of Hebon in Anaba in 1996. The mask was one of the more than 100 artefacts discovered in the home of Saka al Matri. He is a son-in-law of former president Zine al Abidin Ben Ali. But the family's departure from the country hasn't stopped the illegal trafficking of antiquities. You see, this is all the earth they brought while excavating, illegally of course. Yusuf Sharif says this ancient tomb is being looted. Yusuf took this picture back in January when the jars and the walls were still intact. The diggings destroyed some of the 2,000-year-old pottery and the surrounding walls are beginning to cave in. Looters usually are looking for gold, for treasures, gold, silver, diamonds and that stuff. And uh, usually they don't find uh, these things. Uh, but the problem is that they destroy whole sites for the sake of finding something that usually they don't find. It is Tunisia's rich history that makes it a popular target. These are the remains of an ancient early Christian tomb around 1500 years old. There are thousands of sites like this scattered across Tunisia, but many of them are left unprotected and open to looting. Archaeologists say looting isn't the only problem. Many sites are left open to the wind and rain. The Minister of Culture admits archaeology hasn't been a top priority. This is a problem of strategy more than a problem of finance. It is a problem of priorities. We have to admit it. That's why we're here. The Tunisian government says it's working with Interpol to crack the international trafficking network behind much of the looting. But for now, negligence and corruption threaten Tunisia's historical heritage. Nazanin Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Carthage.